Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how I install this CPU cooler. This is from Cooler Master and it, uh, and it is RGB. And really I haven't seen much on uh, YouTube, especially for a 30L Omen, because we are very limited to what we can do to these uh, PCs. Um, not too limited, because you know, we can do some sort of things, but you know, we don't, we don't have the space when you build your own thing. We don't have all that space, you know, all those configurations you can do. So yeah. Um, luckily for me, uh, it is a Cooler Master. All these fans, all these fans from here, Cooler Master makes, you know, from the uh, PC. So I went with the same one. But it is, um, let, me, let me get the name of it. It is an i7-1C Cooler Master. It is um, RGB and it's 120. So it is much bigger than the 80 mil stock that came with the CPU. And I do see better performance, well, better cooling, what I meant. And uh, I could game a little bit longer and stuff like that but it doesn't it won't blow your mind on that stuff you know when it comes to temperatures but i saw a little temperature drop so that was great so yeah let's let me let's see how i made it work if you have one of these led strips um of course it has four pins and stuff like that that led strip came luckily when i bought it a long time ago not that long ago a couple of months ago it came with this little remote right this little remote don't mind this that's that came with that so it came with this the control and of course he knows it is via usb and i have it connected to the pc uh right now none of the rgbs on the pc is working right now because i don't have it plugged into the monitor but uh luckily it it can it connected literally it connected with warp and stuff like that and it is control the only bad thing i could of course i could turn it off turn it on change the color i could change the color i don't know if i could see that i'm trying to keep it yeah i'm pretty sure i can see it yeah yeah i can see it i usually keep it on the fade you know it changes color and stuff like that and it fades and stuff like that but like i said i could turn it on and off change the color stuff like that i can't change the brightness nor lowered it down um up and down i can't do none of that I turn off off and that's it the only bad thing about what i see from this it doesn't feed it enough power to brighten this up so this is the brightest it gets it's the dimmest it gets i can't control it that's bad i mean that's the bad thing but honestly i really don't want it brighter mainly i game at night short on one of that bright um say the rgb on here sometimes i keep turning down to medium and then I turn it back to high sometimes during the day. But uh, but yeah, that's how I made it work, guys. If you have, I want to keep this video short. If you have an LED strip, and yeah. I mean, this is, for me, it works. I'm pretty sure there's an adapter and, you know, it can get the full power of the LEDs. But this is something I had and um, it worked, you know. And I'm going to have it like this. I don't think I'm going to get the adapter. I can't remember what it is or what it is or how to install that little adapter. Where I don't know where to get it. But, you know. If you know about it, let me know down in the link below and I'll check it out and probably I will work it out. And yeah, this is pretty cool. Honestly, it's probably the only 30L, any Omen 30L I've seen from, uh, that anybody has with the RGB CPU. That's pretty dope. Like I said, none of the RGBs are turned on because in the monitor it's not on. It's not connected to any monitor but yeah stay tuned i will tell you what i've done to the pc like you know physically nothing too dramatic but little things i remove hidden in its way thanks for watching bye guys